this tutorial, we'll look at the Assets tab and explore how assets can be used to quickly create great looking publications. I've opened a blank publication. Now we can add some content. On the Assets tab, to the left of the workspace, click Browse. This is the Asset Browser. Here you'll find lots of different graphics, backgrounds, picture frames and even whole pages that you can add to your publication. On the left of the Asset Browser is the Pack Files section. This is where you can access all of the content that comes with PagePlus. We're going to choose a theme layout, so click the small arrow next to the theme layouts and then choose a folder. In your chosen folder, click on the theme layout to see its content appear in the main pane. Feel free to browse the categories and various layouts to find one that you like. In the main pane, the content is split into categories which correspond to the names of the category headers in the Assets tab. We'll look at these in a little more detail later. Scroll down to see the content in your chosen themed layout. When you've decided on a theme layout, it's time to start adding content to your page. To add a specific asset, simply click on the asset that you want to use. A green check mark will appear on the thumbnail. You can add as many assets as you like. To add all the assets in a particular category, click Add All on the right. When you're happy with your chosen assets, Click Close. You can return to the Asset Browser at any time to add more content if you need to. On the Assets tab are various category headers that we mentioned earlier. If you click on these headers, you can see that your chosen content has been added. Now we'll look at creating a publication using Assets. One of the quickest ways to create a publication is to click the Pages category header and then drag a thumbnail out onto the page in the workspace. When you release the mouse button, you'll see that the page layout automatically resizes to fit your page. To add another page, drag your chosen thumbnail onto the left or rightmost side of the existing page in your workspace. When a large arrow appears, release the mouse button. In this case, a new page has been added after my first page. Alternatively, you can create more customised layouts by building up different assets yourself. First, let's add a new blank page by clicking the Add Page button on the Pages tab. Next, we'll add a background from the Backgrounds category on the Assets tab. When you drag your background out onto the page, you'll see an outline appears which indicates where the background will go. In the Page Content category, you'll find a variety of text frames and combinations of components which you can use to create your own layouts. Simply select one of these and then drag it onto your page. Use the layout guides to help you line up your asset with page margins. You can continue to add page content until you're happy with the layout. I think my page will need some more pictures. I'm not sure which pictures I want to use yet, so for now I'll just add some frames. These are great for adding decorative surrounds to your pictures. Finally, we can finish by adding a few background graphics from the graphics category. You can resize these as needed by dragging on the resize handles and then reorder them using the Arrange toolbar at the top of the workspace. To finish, I'll show you how to change the entire colour scheme of your publication in just a few clicks. This is really useful if you like the contents of the theme layout but prefer a different colour scheme. To do this, open the Schemes tab at the bottom right of your workspace. Then, simply choose a colour scheme. You will see this instantly update throughout your publication. That's it, my custom layout is complete. As you can see, this is a great design method and offers plenty of potential for experimenting. 
To find out more about PagePlus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching!